Oh, for Christ's sake, here. Objection, Your Honor. Yeah, good, 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 nice. Absolutely fucking not. Oh, you were finished! You have a big mouth. And now I'm gonna show you an even bigger one. Oh, I'm sorry, did I break your concentration? Oh, really? Oh, well, allow me to retort. As a filmmaker, he is nothing, a zero. He's brought nothing to the page, brought nothing to the picture. If you bring him to a party and there's 10 interesting people there, if I'm with Johnny Ramone, John Frusciante, uh, 10 of my friends, and Spike is there, which it's happened a hundred times. He's the least interesting. He's the person who doesn't know anything. He's the person who doesn't say anything funny, interesting, intelligent. He has no point of view. All he does is want to find out what you think so he's sure about what he should be doing. What, what do you, you think? What do you think? He's a, a pig piece of shit. Him and his fucking milk well, right. ex-wife. As a filmmaker, he is nothing. A zero. He's brought nothing to the page or nothing to the picture. If you bring him to a party, and there's in ten interesting people there. You call me John Ramon, John Frusciante, uh, ten of my friends, and Spike is there, which has happened a hundred times. He's the least interesting. He's a person that doesn't know anything. He's a person who doesn't say anything funny, interesting, intelligent. He has no point of view. All he does is want to find out what you think, so he's sure about what he should be doing. What do you think? What do you think? He's a big piece of shit. Him and his fucking milk ex wife. Okay? So here's a countryman lavalier that Vasilius said that I recorded with. This uses the XLR, so it doesn't even record with a Sony mini display. So here we go. As a filmmaker, he is nothing, a zero. He's brought nothing to the page or nothing to the picture. If you bring him to a party and there's 10 interesting people, if I'm with John Ramon, John Frusciante, uh, 10 of my friends and Spike is there, which has happened a hundred times. He's the least interesting person. He's a person that doesn't know anything. He's a person who doesn't say anything funny. He has no point of view. All he does is want to know, want to find out what you think, so he's sure about what he should be doing. What do you think? What do you think? He's a big piece of shit. He's a fucking milk ex -wife. Okay, that's for the Countryman Audio, and a much, much better advanced recorder that couldn't have been out at the time. Okay, thank you. Game, set, and match. Great, thank you. No fucking way. Never. Swung on a drill to right field, doing back Sanders, on the track, at the wall! See ya! See ya! See ya! A home run by Derek Jeter! You know, I don't want to talk about that situation ever again with anybody. You understand me? You want me to be frank? Where did you learn your trade? Oh, I'm going to have your job, shithead. What are you going to say now, right? What are you going to do about it, asshole? You are one pathetic loser. You what the French call les incompetents. Zero point zero. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Where the fuck do you get the balls? Yeah, that's my message for you. Fuck you and kiss my ass. Now go home and get your fucking shine box. The heck do you mean?
You want answers? You can't handle the truth! I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing. Well, I didn't know you wanted to get involved with the discussion, Mr. Helper. Fucking nauseating. Oh, you think this is funny, huh? There's a man's reputation at stake here. Counselor! Ooh. Yeah! All due respect. Counselor? Counselor? You don't know jack shit. I do. We're done here. God damn you, Joe. Don't make me do this. Joe, you're barking up the wrong tree. Joe, I don't know what you think you know, but you're wrong. All right, explain this to me like I'm a two-year-old, okay? Come on, huh? Here we go.
think I'm entitled to Are you going to bark all day, little doggy? Or are you going to bite? And in light of recent humiliations, what the fuck are you talking about? You're unbelievable, man. You're unfucking believable. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Counselor! Counselor! I don't see a case. Winning! No. Somebody reliable. And I'm not talking about a lawyer either. Period. Fuck you. And this is what you couldn't wait to talk to me about? I would rather you just said thank you and went on your way. I don't buy it, counselor. Counselor. I know this man, he wouldn't do that. He's a good kid. Nice, Joe. Fucking forget about it. He doesn't give a fuck. You got a good lawyer? Makes all the difference. It's going to take a hell of a lot more than that, counselor, to prove you're better than me. He knew it was wrong what he did. He was wrong, believe me, he knows. Is that supposed to be funny? Fuck's sake, man, you're amateur. Rules are rules, otherwise what? Vincent! Anytime, anywhere. If you were a man, you would have done it now. You don't got a thing! You got nothing! Nothing! You'll take care of this, right? I'm Jack, Your Honor. I have no objection. Oh, good!
good for you. What are you, a comedian? Oh, really? Well, I'm glad you feel that way. You stupid cocksucker. Is that smart? Vincent, we happy? Yeah, whatever. Right. <laughs> you believe this fucking guy? <laughs> <laughs> fucking Philadelphia lawyer. Again with the money? It was a landslide victory, basically. It was a complete victory. Yeah. The equitable estoppel? Equitable estoppel. The argument that had been made, uh, which if there were facts to support it, would have been a good argument, but there were no facts, which was you and Vince Gala reached an agreement that you would take the audio down off your website, and he agreed not to sue you. And the two of you discussed this and reached this agreement. Mm -hmm. Uh, and under those circumstances, equitable estoppel would apply, meaning the statute of limitations wouldn't apply, and Vince could file this lawsuit. But the problem with that argument is it was all fantasy. It was all fabrication. Right. And You the, never agreed and, to and take And the judge on. was very good. I don't know if it was because he was advised well, but uh, I think he read enough that he said, yeah, but it says here he never, he never talked or communicated with Vincent. That's exactly Since it. 2003. And he says here that he never took the audio down. What, what are you talking about? Right. And he says, yes, he did, though, Your Honor. And he says, well, where, where do you have that? And he, he started looking at his papers, nothing. Right. He said, well, Vince visited some chat rooms and noticed either it was down or it was up or something. The judge said, that, look, that's not evidence. Evidence is an expert, not Vince visited chat rooms. And yeah, why doesn't he just go to my website? Right. Just type, type his name or my name, and the first, from the first page you'll see right. where the audio is. Yeah. And right. it was on my website the whole time. Right. Let me ask you, if, had this been reversed, I had a, a different attorney, and you were representing Vincent Gallo. What would you have done? Well, I certainly wouldn't have filed the lawsuit. I just I can't imagine filing a lawsuit. But suppose the lawsuit had been filed, and I came in, and I had to oppose. Don't uh, you have to have some kind of factual reasons to file a lawsuit? A lawyer has a duty to research both the facts and the law. And when you talk to your client, the client tells you this interview occurred 13 years ago. Um, that's a red flag that the lawsuit is frivolous. Uh, when the uh, client tells you uh, there's a hidden microphone, but you listen to the audio and you hear that the client is crystal clear, that's another red flag. Mm. Uh, there are a lot of red flags. In the middle of the street. <laughs> right, exactly. Exactly. Women walking by, yeah, you right. can hear them. Buses. Right. <laughs> there were some red flags that uh, perhaps uh, the facts were not on Vince Gallo's side. And Again, the microphone was in his mouth, and he freely said, Spike Jones this, Sophia Coppola this, Francis Ford Coppola this, Martin Scorsese this and that. I'll never understand to this day why he said all those things. My take on it, he wanted to be outrageous. He was on the cover, and he wanted to do, give an outrageous interview. People change. People might mellow after a number of years. So in that sense, you know, maybe this was um, not convenient for him at, at, at that stage of his life. When, when I published it, but uh, again, like the judge said, I'm not, I don't exist and do my work to, uh, to get, let Vincent Gallo know my every move. Right. It's my possession, I do what, what I feel right to do. As is your right. Yeah, as, as a journalist. Right. No, really! Get the fuck out! Duh. Winning. You get nothing! You lose! There you go. There's the fucking problem. It's all there, black and white, clear as crystal. Are you professional or not? You got some balls, kid. I'll give you that much. So what do I owe you, counselor? Juicy, Junior. Real juicy. <laughs> you blow it! Winning! Ah, that's why I always ask myself, is it worth it financially? He's got a right to a lot of things right now. 
<laughs> Winner.com You want to fight me? You can't take me. Well, again, thank you so much for everything. Perhaps this is not completely over and we might see one of them or both of them at some point. Spoiler alert. You're very welcome. You're so very welcome. thank you very much. Stay tuned. Okay, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Great. All right, thank you. How can I learn you? How can I read you? How can I thank you? And I can out philosophize you. And I'm going to outlast you. Counselor? Counselor?